What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be playing a little bit of a different game. So this game is called Helldivers. So if you haven't heard of it, it's basically there is three different worlds you can fight in and your character is going to fight through all of them and there's all sorts of different mobs and all sorts of different missions to accomplish and it's a pretty cool um, pretty cool game actually. So there's all sorts of different upgrades you can get in the armory um, and I'll explain some of that later. But I've, I've played the game a little bit in level 16. But so, as you can tell right here, there's three worlds, there's a cyborg world, there's the bug world, and there's a third world at the bottom that's not letting me show for some reason. I think it's called like the Illumini world, um, I'm not entirely sure if that is accurate, but I think that's what it's called. But we're going to be starting in the bug home world this time. So basically there's different planets and each one has a different difficulty, so I think what we're going to do, um, we're probably going to turn this into a series, so we're going to do like one planet each time. And the planets do change after a certain amount of time, I believe, although the difficulty is still the same. So it goes up all the way to level 15, which is the inner circle of hell. And the definition of insanity, exercise and facility, hell dive, impossible, which is funny. There's four paths impossible. And, um, and each one either gives a lot of XP as you get further up or a really good weapon, like the shredder missiles, um, insanely good. And then as you get further down, you get like laser cannon XP boost if you already have the um, stuff from that planet. Which I've already gotten a lot of the stuff from the lower level planets, but we're going to be going through them and obviously get free XP. So, we're going to hop into the first planet. Most planets have at least two missions, some of them have more. And this robot explains all of it. Um, so you're going to end up in that little thing after the tutorial. But so what we're going to do here, we're going to click on mission 1, and it's just capture area, and then mission 2 is retrieve black box. We're going to be doing both those in this video to complete the first planet, and that'll be the... Um, the first part of this so i'm hoping it's going to be a 15 part series it might be more because there's like event planets and stuff but but the um idea is we're going to start at level one and work our way up to level 15 which currently i do not have the equipment to be level 15 or to play the level 15 levels like difficulty 15 but we'll see what happens this is basically what you can do here there is um usually several objectives for the harder missions but you can pick where you want, want to land so i usually land pretty close to it but not right on it and um i have an auto injector so if i get knocked i get picked up faster and i have the sickle shotgun which is pretty cool and i haven't played in a while so i don't remember what everything does but um i'll show you guys some of the abilities some of them are really cool like, there's like tanks giant robots um and all sorts of stuff i'm actually gonna put on the ammo one as this one is extremely helpful I'm pretty sure the shotgun is like a cooldown. Most of the guns you do have to reload. And um, and this is one of the games that if like, you could shoot one bullet or you could use the entire clip. And if you reload, then you're going to lose that clip. Which makes sense because like in real life, like if you shoot two bullets and you lose the clip, then I'm pretty sure you just lose the whole clip if you're just throwing it out. But yeah, so this shotgun has like a, a charge up so I can shoot as much as I want. But if it um, overheats, then I have to re reload it. I think that's why I didn't have the thing on. But so basically you're going to see mobs and all the little guys will call in reinforcements by shooting off like a red thing. Or um, screaming and if they do then and reinforcements will come. But as you can tell I made sure that um, I killed him before it turned red and we were good. Yeah, so most guns work like this. Like the ammo counts down you just have to reload it and it doesn't matter if you shoot one bullet or the entire thing. It's going to take the entire clip from you. But so this is going to be a relatively easy mission for the first few videos I'm assuming. Like, I mean, level one is literally defined as walk in the park. Oh no! Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much ha what happens when they signal in, um, more people. Or that's what they're doing when they, um, do that screech. And each, um, and each enemy does a different thing. Like, the sideboards just, like, literally shoot off a flare. I think the aliens scream too. And these bugs scream, obviously. Crap. The only downside of not having the um, the only downside to have an auto injector is I can't really see where I'm shooting because there is a um, there is a laser sight you can get. Okay, I'm just gonna get to the extraction because they're just gonna keep lighting me up. Here, actually, watch this. I can put this down, and I'll I can go into a giant robot and I'll just light these guys up. And you can actually play this game with up to four people. You can. Um, you can do it online or on local co-op, which is pretty cool. So if you have like three other friends over, you and your friends can all play. And it's, it's actually a pretty fun game. And if you're playing on PlayStation, you just have to have four PlayStation accounts. I don't think all of them have to have plus. You just have to have four PlayStation accounts. This robot's pretty cool. One is like, uh, one's like a missile turret. The other is like a Gatling gun. So I can literally just step on these guys, honestly. But I'm not gonna. And I also have a heal gun. I can bring in ammo. I don't really need it for this shotgun. Because, um, 
because long as you don't overheat it, you don't really use ammo. So it's kind of infinite ammo, it's kind of nice. All right. I need this heal gun here. I can put it on the robot and I can heal it. So if it's weak or if you have teammates that are weak, um, the more you upgrade that gun, you can actually um, you can actually um, heal more people and it'll go to more things at once. I think I dropped my shotgun for that. No, I didn't. And you can also just use the robot as bait, so like, you guys are just gonna go attack the robot instead of me. It's kinda nice. I'm, I'm gonna hop back in it though, so I can go attack him. Get him out of him now. Yeah, level 1, pretty easy, pretty straightforward, pretty, to the, um, pretty straightforward to the point. Level 2 is a little bit harder, there's some bigger enemies, and by the time you're like level 5 and 6, it starts getting a little difficult. There's also like, random environmental factors like lava that you can step in, there's water that slows you down. I think there are some winter maps that slow you down too, but I don't remember. Alright, the shuttle's coming in. Crap. No, wrong gun. I have, I have zero. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I technically don't need the ammo um, thing. I'll bring in the orbital cannon to see what that does. I've never used it, actually. I'll probably use it right away, just in case I die. And the game is a little loud, so I don't know if I'm talking loud or not here, but... Not too bad. Alright. It should be easy for star mission. Let's go. Fix your actions, low death count bonus. Very nice. 18% <laughs> accuracy. Oh man, that's great. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, uh, let's do the next mission. So yeah, that one's done. We're doing mission two. I'm probably just gonna pick the orbital strike, to be honest. I might pick, like, um... Some sort of, um, grenade or something. Actually, I am gonna keep this this time. Only because I'm probably gonna drop this for now. We'll see. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna pick up the um, watchdog or the guard dog. All right, let's go. All right, so with the black box mission, um, whenever you pick up the crate or like the briefcase, you can only hold it in one hand, which means that you only have one hand to use another gun with. So I don't think I can have the shotgun, like actually use it. So I'm gonna keep the ammo crate with me just in case. And these guys are about to get blasted in the face. There we go. They did. So yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call in the guard dog, um, so that it can defend me. I think I can use this with it. Okay, this thing will literally just shoot for me. And you can also bring in an SOS beacon if you want. Oh crap, I just killed myself. <laughs> dropping in the thing. Crap. Oh, now if I die, I'm dead. I have no more reinforcements. But I think every time you finish a mission, you do get, uh, reinforcements, but I'm not entirely sure on that. <laughs> Yeah, the good thing about playing multiple people is that, um, is that if you do get knocked, they can pick you up, or they can just revive you with one of these, um, like, code things, like how I've been dropping the ammo packs and the robots and stuff, um, they can revive you with that, but since I'm by myself, you just get, um, self-revives, and they just bring you back, but currently I have zero, so if I die, I'm dead. <sighs> okay, good, they didn't call anybody. Yeah, the problem is, like, if they go red, then they call people, and then I'm just kind of screwed because I have a pistol. I have two, two things left in it. But once I drop this box off, I can go back to the shotgun. I just gotta drop it off first. Let's go. Alright. And this guard dog is defending me anyway, so it didn't really matter. But, alright. Now we have an extra life. I'm gonna hop in the good old, um, good old robot. I'm also gonna get some more ammo for my pistol. Not that I need it, but might as well. I'm just gonna make sure I don't die, because I don't have... I don't have anything to lose here, necessarily. I have one life remaining, so... Yeah, I don't technically need it for this, but I might as well take it. Actually, I already have six. Yeah, that's the max. I mean, six is more than enough for that. I only technically need one. As long as you're paying attention, you're, that gun won't overheat. Like I said, most guns aren't like that, but um, the overheat gun is pretty cool, actually. There we go. Yeah, they're just shrieking. Cause... No, don't call them. Dang it. Yeah, so whenever your screen goes like that, they bring in more. Like I said, in the level 1, it's not that bad. But in like level 5, 6, 7, 8, and stuff like that, like if they call reinforcements, you're just screwed. Because you're just going to get bombarded. Come on. Yeah, but as long as I can avoid them calling in reinforcements, we're pretty much good. But I have this watchdog that just one-taps them. I'm going to bring this in too, which this turret will literally just murder these guys. We have all the, uh, we have all the support we need here. Yeah, I mean, I can just spray this thing. This is honestly probably one of my favorite guns in the game. I've only played with, like, three or four of them. 
Hey, this is a really good one. Yeah, that turret will just throw down. Still to survive for another minute. Most extractions, I think, are a minute 15. Some might be longer as you get um, into harder levels, I don't recall, but I think it's usually 115. Pretty much no matter what you play. There are some specialty missions there where you just, like, kill a thousand enemies or survive till extraction or something like that. There's some cool ones. But did the rockets actually come out of the holes? What? Oh, I only had eight rockets. Crap. I don't want to waste them. I thought this was the guy who had a um, who had a Gatling gun and like the small rockets. But yeah, well, once you waste eight, you're done. That's nice. There are a few different robots. There's a couple like tank and cars and pretty cool stuff. Get them! All right, I'm gonna gather this robot. Here, actually, this thing this, this thing will crush the robot if I put it there. It's gotta run. No! Get him! Oh, blew up the robot! That's nice. Alright, let's get out of here. Bye! You can't catch me! Let's go. Oh, we did a pretty good job. Um, other than the fact that we literally let the pod drop right on top of us. But other than that, we did pretty good. Pretty good. And the reason I don't have the face cam on y'all is because um, I'm on PlayStation and I don't have a camera with it. I'm not on PC for this one. I think this game is on PC though, I believe it's on Steam, it's on PlayStation, um, it may be on Xbox, I'm not entirely sure on that one. Nice 16% accuracy, but it's a pretty fun game, definitely be sure to check it out, again it's called Helldivers. And yeah, the first one's called Dive in the Park, we got two community influence, um, I don't think that's a lot, but as you get further up, you can conquer it, and there's like, to my understanding, like there's a duration that you have to capture the planets and you get extra stuff if you're like a big part of it. I don't think I'm going to be able to play the game, so I think it's pretty scaled down, but I'm also not entirely sure if that's true. So that is going to be the end of the video, you guys, for the next one. Um, we'll probably stay on the bug homeworld unless it's one of those weird, like, event things that doesn't let you have the planets, but we'll be doing number two next time. And as you can tell, we finished the one planet, so it just shows another threat, and you can, and you can do that one again if you want. But yeah, so, um, so we'll be doing level two next time, and as you can tell, as you get further... Sometimes there's more missions, like for this one there's three separate missions, but it's like a lot more stuff. This is level 7. And yeah, that one's literally just kill it's 275 enemies. And that by yourself is kind of difficult. Yeah, like I said, as you get further up, like there's special planets like that map planet down there, I don't know what that is. But, uh, but yeah, there's like three missions. Some of them get real complicated, like there's like four things you have to do. And still extract while fighting harder mobs. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Like I said, we'll be doing um, Difficulty 2 next time. We started with 1. We'll keep going up. And there's different environments, too. It's pretty cool. But we will be doing Level 2 next time. Um, and if you guys like the video, make sure you... Um, or like the video if you like the content. Um, consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.